Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I want to go ahead and shout out Anthony Hamilton. Anthony was one of the first ones to send me this story and once again it's coming from our fifth favorite state, nutty ass New York. So what's going on now, nutty New York, you ask? What's going on is that we have one of the most disturbing cases I've read in a while, okay? It's about a father. He decided to catfish his 14-year-old daughter, okay? So what happened is that back in 2013, he created a profile on Instagram basically saying that he was a 16-year-old boy in Canada and that, you know, he, he found his daughter's profile. He also created an AOL texting page and he was letting his daughter know that, you know, she's sexy, she has a hot body. The whole time the daughter is thinking that it's a 16-year-old boy from Canada. They start dating, they're exchanging all these, you know, sexually explicit text messages and everything else. Soon the so-called catfish daddy starts pressuring the daughter to start sending him nudes. And she's still saying, no, you know, she's not that type of girl. She does not want to send nudes. He then threatens her and says, if you don't send me naked pictures of you, I'm going to screenshot these sexually explicit messages that you sent me, and I'm going to text them to your father. So now the little girl's scared to find out, you know, the conversation that she was having with this boy. So she agrees to send him the nudes, okay? So then soon after she sends him the nudes, he's still threatening her and wanting more nudes. She sends him some more. Um, and then soon after that, the boy so-called commits suicide, okay? So after the boy commits suicide, a few months later, he then starts sexually abusing and molesting his daughter. She finally got the courage to go to a school nurse and explain to the school nurse that her father had been sexually abusing and molesting her. Then at that point in time, the school caught the police. And then that's when they found, you know, these text messages and all this stuff that was going on on this man's computer. So right now, this man is looking at 20 years in prison. When I tell you guys, I scoured the internet to look for this man's picture, to look for his name. They are definitely protecting this man. The news articles that I found on this story, which are legitimate news articles, are saying that they're not gonna release his name to protect the victim who is his daughter. And while I kinda understand that, I also find it to be bullshit, okay? Because I've done numerous stories on here where parents have acted unbecoming and their mugshots were blasted. I talked about the black mother who was sleeping with her 13-year-old daughter's boyfriend in the car. They had no problem putting her mugshot and her name out there. You know what I'm saying? They weren't worried about the daughter being embarrassed or the 13-year-old boy who was sleeping with the mother. So it's funny how the media is very selective about the victims that they want to protect and not protect. You know, I just find this whole situation just sickening. How can somebody as a parent even devise a plan like this? Did this man not work? You know what I'm saying? Instead of putting out this energy towards something positive, working and trying to protect and provide for your daughter, you decide to catfish her, to get naked pictures from her, and then kill the catfish, and then start molesting her? This is some sick-ass shit. Nutty-ass New York, I'm gonna need y'all to lock this bastard up and throw away the key for the rest of his life. This whole situation is just insane. I hope this girl gets much-needed therapy. I hope this girl realizes that she did nothing wrong and her father's a sick individual. This is just really, really sick and sad all the way around. So anyways, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation. It's coming from our fifth favorite state, Nutty Ass New York. What do you think should happen to the father? And then why do you think the media is so quick to protect him and not put him on blast? But yet and still, when you have other victims, especially male victims of molestation and rape and stuff like that, they have no problem blasting other people. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.